Hello everyone, I'm Mike McCabe. Strengthening democracy has been my life's work. I've been at it for decades. But in all of my 61 years, I've never seen a moment where American democracy is as vulnerable as it is right now. Uh, we've reached a point where we can no longer take for granted that it will survive the assaults that it's enduring. One of the reasons why American democracy is so vulnerable is that we have a major party in our country that doesn't believe in democracy. It doesn't believe America is a democracy or should be a democracy. And that's so strange to me based on my upbringing. You see, I, I grew up out in the country. I was born and raised on my family's dairy farm. And a lot of farmers are Republicans, so I grew up around a lot of Republicans. But you know, all the years as I was growing to adulthood, I never once heard a single neighbor ever say that America is not a democracy. Well, when I was in my 20s, I got a job at the Capitol as a legislative aide in the state assembly. This was back in the early 1980s. And at that time, Democrats and Republicans were actually working pretty well together. They didn't agree on everything, they tangled a lot, but they could also work out their differences and make some compromises and get the people's business done. And then at the end of the workday, they socialized together. They, they frequented the same taverns. They were on softball leagues and bowling leagues together. You know, and in all those years, I never once heard a Republican legislator or staffer say that America is not a democracy. And yet among today's Republicans, it's become an article of faith that America is not and should not be a democracy. You hear them say all the time, America is a republic, not a democracy, as if those two things are opposites. You look those words up in the dictionary, they're one and the same. And yet you hear them say that over and over again, that America is not a democracy. Well, in, on June 6th, 1984, Ronald Reagan gave a speech in Normandy. He was honoring those who gave their lives in the D-Day invasion in World War II. And he said that day that there are things worth dying for. He said one's country is worth dying for. Democracy is worth dying for. Because democracy is the most deeply honorable form of government ever devised. Ronald Reagan was a Republican. He was Mr. Republican. And today's Republicans no longer believe that democracy is the most deeply honorable form of government ever devised. You know, and if we're going to keep the American experiment going, if we're going to remain faithful to the Founders' vision, we have to remember that back in 1787, at the Constitutional Convention. We all know the story. When the founders emerged, somebody came up to Ben Franklin and asked, well, what have we got? A, a, a republic or a monarchy? And of course, you remember what Franklin said. He said, a republic, if you can keep it. What's important about that story today is what Franklin was not asked. He was not asked, well, what have we got, a republic or a democracy? A republic is the opposite of a monarchy. It's not the opposite of a democracy. A republic and a democracy are one and the same. Look, at, look the words up in a dictionary. But today's Republicans have rejected that belief, that long understood notion that America is a democratic republic. And as a result, we've, we're in a situation where democracy is being brutally assaulted. They not only say that America is not a democracy, they're acting accordingly. You have Republicans across the country who still refuse to accept the results of a fair and free election for, for president. An election with a decisive outcome. They, they still reject the idea that, 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 uh, that that election was fairly decided. And of course, now it's becoming a common occurrence to see someone elected president without winning the most votes across this country. It's happened several times in recent years.
And at the same time, we've got elections for Congress and for state legislatures in states where one party wins the most votes, but the other party wins the most seats, thanks to partisan gerrymandering. And then there are voter suppression laws being enacted in states all across the country. Democracy is being brutally assaulted. And like I said, we can no longer take for granted that it will survive these attacks. We have our work cut out for us. If democracy is going to survive in this country, it's going to be up to us to protect it and it's going to be up to us to continue the American experiment. And we will save democracy. Democracy will survive so long as we remember that democracy is more verb than noun. It's not so much something that we have as something that we do. And as long as we do democracy, we will have democracy.